Russell Brand, what happens if a police investigation begins? What happens next to Russell Brand, the actor, comedian and political campaigner, is admittedly pure speculation. What we know is he has been accused of very serious allegations. So based on previous history where celebrity figures have been accused in the media, let me explain seven points about what might happen if a police investigation begins. One, a police investigation begins with a report of a criminal complaint made to the police. A police investigation does not begin with the allegations aired on a TV programme or published in a newspaper. Two, should there be a report of a criminal complaint to the police by one or more of the four women who accused Russell Brand of serious misconduct of a criminal nature or any other woman who comes forward to report their criminal complaint to the police, then Russell Brand should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Any guilt is found in a criminal court of law, not in social media posts. Three, if there is a criminal complaint made to the police, this should be treated very seriously by the police. Four, where a police investigation begins, the police should A, investigate the matter fairly with the ABC investigative mindset, assume nothing, believe nobody, confirm everything, and B, offer and provide welfare support to both Russell Brand and the complainants from risk of self-harm. Five, where there is a police investigation, this needs to be thorough. And there are four parts to a thorough police investigation. The first part is to take a comprehensive statement from the complainant via a video interview or a written statement or both. The second part is to gather evidence which might result in supporting or undermining the complaint. This is undoubtedly going to be based on examining telephone messages and records, taking witness statements and obtaining medical reports, if any. The third part is to conduct a police interview under caution with Russell Brand. This will give him an opportunity, if he wishes to do so, to put forward a defence to each complaint. The fourth part and final part and following the police interview is to pursue all new lines of inquiry which might support or undermine any defence put forward. Six, once the police investigation is completed, a case file is handed to the CPS for a charging decision. This may result in charges being brought or no further action. And seven, when it comes to particular offences, the two main issues the CPS are likely to consider are centred on consent. Firstly, did the complainant consent to the intimate activity? And secondly, did Russell Brand reasonably believe the complainant consented to the intimate activity? There is a clear factual dispute between the complainants and Russell Brand on the issue of consent from reports. And final words, we all have to let the process play out. We all have to wait and see if a criminal complaint is made to the police. And if a criminal complaint is made, we all have to wait and see the outcome of the police investigation and CPS decision. In future posts, I am going to outline other general issues. What topics do the police cover with a complainant who makes a complaint of a serious sexual nature? And what topics do the police cover in a suspect's police interview under caution who is accused of a serious sexual offence and other general topics? Thank you for watching. Follow, like and share.